So this. Are you for real? Nissan, Mitsubishi, Mazda. These are all Japanese brands. Are you serious? <laughs> this, this can't be right. Yeah, right as rain, sir. I even had it printed in German just in case. I can read English. Look, the last time I was here, you told me I was banned from competing at all. And now you're trying to tell me that every single Japanese brand doesn't want me to race in their cars? And not every Japanese brand. Daihatsu has a fine vehicle they'd like to offer you. I am not driving a Copen. Oh, it's not a Copen? It's a midget. And I'm definitely not touching a midget. For God's sake, word that differently. At least like 80% of the cars that are eligible for this competition are Japanese. Seriously, what am I supposed to do here? Hmm, let me think. Oh, Eureka, I've got it. Just go find yourself a decent, affordable European or American model. I mean, there's tons of them out there, and they won't set you back more than 10,000 bucks. I mean, you got Citroëns, Peugeots, Fiats, Fords, Chryslers, God willing. All right, I get it. Wait, what's gonna happen to my... <laughs> Sick ride. I got a blue one just like it. Word on the street is you're on bad terms with the land of the rising sun. Well, they're car manufacturers anyway. <laughs> no Japanese cars. That is gonna be tough. That's like 80% of the cars. Nah, I'm sure you can handle that. How about I make this a real challenge? <laughs> Trial Mountain to Laguna Seca Mix dicks hard and girly shake the money makers Burn no play no look up in the sky Better think twice before you fuck around with GTI Don't try to compete this game's complete I gotta just take a seat Don't fret if you get past cause if you want it you get last Don't try to resist your honest list and you will not be We are going to try to beat Gran Turismo 4 without any Japanese cars. Restricting yourself to only non-Japanese cars basically eliminates like 80% of the cars in this game. We're not gonna be able to use anything. I think especially like in the beginning with the um, used car dealer, most of it is Japanese. And now let's see, let's see how far we can take it honestly. I have no idea, I did like zero research on this uh, as per usual. Okay, so the first step is gonna be to buy a non-Japanese car. I'm not even sure if that's possible. Actually, now I think about it, hold on. We can do the we can do the B license, and I think that one gives us a Lupo, doesn't it? The Lupo uh, VW is German. You failed. That's what the kids call epic fail. Damn, I'm using a Mitsubishi in license test. Well, guys and girls, failed the challenge. See you later. Okay, obviously, license test cars do not count. The only cars that count are the ones that are in our garage, okay? I like how I'm not even paying attention at all, and I'm getting really close to gold on my first try here. It just shows you how much I played this game already, man. We're really just rushing through the license test right now. It's, it's pretty sweet. At some point, you've just done these so often that, uh, um, yeah, you're a bit of an expert. <laughs> Obviously. All right, so that gives us the Volkswagen Lupo. Look at that, I actually only got three bronze. That's pretty good. Uh, should we use the Lupo? The Lupo is pretty bad. 
Like, it's it might be good enough for the beginning, but in general, mmm. It doesn't even have 100 horsepower. Like, here's the Infinity, for example. Like, one of them, I guess. This is already where the controversy starts. Like, is Infinity and maybe, like, uh, you know, what was the other brand? Akira? Like, are those Japanese or not? Or do they count in the challenge as Japanese or not? It feels like cheating a little bit. But I guess technically they aren't. This is, this is, this is where the bullshit starts. Because then I can just get it in NSX. It's right there, man. It's an Akira. So I would say we ban those two. Now you can already see like, you know, Suzuki, Toyota, Honda, Nissan, like, uh, this is all Japanese here. I have to scroll really far, really, really far to find something that isn't Japanese in the used car dealer. There's actually nothing in here except like that one, that one Fiat Panda. That's, <laughs> it's pretty bad actually. Okay, used car dealer too. What do we got? Mercedes. And it's actually sort of, it's almost affordable. The problem is it's not much faster in the Looper. It also only has 100 horsepower. Oh, it's this one. Okay, yeah. That, <laughs> I'd rather drive the Looper, honestly. BMW. Okay, that's a good car, but it's really pricey. And that's the thing with this game. Everything that's not Japanese is really pricey. Ford Taurus. That one's 17k. It's not a looker. I'll say that much. But might just be affordable. Peugeot. That's actually really affordable. That would be an actual upgrade. The color is absolutely horrendous. I don't even know what that is. But that would be an upgrade, and I think it's also affordable. I mean, we can also look in the new car dealers. We don't necessarily have to buy a used car, but I think those are just gonna be even more expensive. Like, what, what if we look into VW, for example? Nah, those are all pricey. Those are all too pricey, man. I think French cars are worth looking at, let's see. Oh, dude, that one is definitely lighter. 890 kilo. Horsepower-wise, it's Round about the same, but that sounds like that seems like a good car. 12k. We'd have to sell the Looper, but that's okay. There's rally in the name. All right. <laughs> First car acquired. That leaves us with 661 credits. I don't think that's enough for upgrades. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to rocket stock for now. Give the car a name. <laughs> I mean, already it's. <laughs> Okay, so just the name for this thing then. The baguette. It's not really a baguette, it's, it's very short actually. Pierre, Pierre, Bob, Jean, Jeff, Herbie. But I mean, it's not a VW. Rene, Croissant, Uwe. No, it's just German. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's see what we can do. I actually bought a new car. It's something I, I don't think I've ever really done. Buying a new car at the start of a Grand Chosmo 4 playthrough. Usually I just get something used. Good start. I, th I, think we, I think we got a good car here. With a lot of potential. Definitely much better than the Lupo. 1%. The Lupo on stock has, has issues beating this race. That much I remember for sure. Dude, we're still not hitting top speed with this thing. It's, it's fast. Look at it go, man. 180 and still pulling, man. Not bad at all. I think that one might be another 106 rally, isn't it? That nah, just look different again. It might just be another regular 106. Yeah, it's missing. It's missing the badging. Uh, Derek, Derek, well, what do you mean they don't have the stickers? It's Amazon. I'm pretty sure you could buy meth off there. I uh, just, just buy a box of crayons. We'll do it ourselves. <sighs> Fucking embarrassing. But this, this one's gonna be important. This one is actually required for the K car challenge. This one I cannot sell. Or at least I shouldn't. But I mean, for now, we can straight up move on to the front wheel drive cup. Oh, maybe the car's fast enough. I don't know what the opponents are in this one. Okay. Yeah, opponents definitely are a little bit more powerful than before. I think we're gonna need a straight up turbo if we wanna have any chance here. I mean, there's a bunch of traffic here. Hmm. Yeah, on a, on a straight, we're definitely losing them, and especially midfield is a very, very... Uh, it's a track that definitely favors top speed and acceleration. I think in terms of cornering, we're definitely better than the rest. But I think on this track in particular, that's uh, that doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah. Okay, I managed to save it. <laughs> the pure <laughs> driving skill, man. Call me the stick. Honestly, I feel like we could probably beat this race. Was it not for the car in first? That one's obviously much faster than the rest. I'm just gonna complete the race and get second for some extra cash. <laughs> oh god, okay. That worked, but that made us really slow for the corner here. I'm definitely gonna have to block. Actually, maybe they're really far they're really far behind. Hold on. I think we got this man. Tetris. <laughs> Dude, where's the finish line, man? Okay, I still got seconds. <laughs> <coughs> Woo! Okay. There's two paths we can go. Either we continue using the 106, upgrade it a little bit, try again, or we do this one and, and basically switch to the Auto Bianchi. This one needs a little bit of upgrades too, though. I mean, the car also does not really weigh much. Probably less than the 106. I mean, it's just a 29 points race. How, how hard can it be, man? What, what, what do I see there? Honda Beats, a Copen? I don't even know what that is in front. Like, come on, man. <laughs> 
Obviously, we want to spend as uh, little money as possible on upgrades. Because we're definitely going to have to buy a whole bunch of cars. And that requires money. Loads of money. That's actually beatable in a, in a stock autobianchi. But you really have to turn those assists up, otherwise you're just not getting any power to the wheels. I don't think I can use this car for anything else. It's Italian, for what it's worth. But it's not a fast Italian. So I might just get rid of this one right after the event. Because I doubt that I can find any use for it. And that cappuccino is fast. Maybe I do have to cut somewhere. Honestly, I'm not sure if I can take it, man. I'm not really uh, gaining at all. Might have to give this another attempt. He's too far away for him. Actually, maybe he isn't. Oh, my neck! Oh, beautiful. But I don't think that really helped. No, that didn't really help. <laughs> was a straight up T-bone takedown, but it didn't really help. Bro, we're rocking 69 horsepower. It doesn't get any sexier than that. All right, we just need a good hit, man. What about a front hit? Oh, my back! Oh, my pussy and my crack. I hope you have good insurance. Yes! Eat shit! Let's go! He's gonna be last at this rate. There we go. What's the autopilot doing? Cutting is my job. Great, now it took me one lap. There's seven laps? I mean, I guess they're short, but what the hell? And now it took me like one lap to get it to first. What an exciting race. Thank you, Polyphony. I also love how this track basically only puts stress on your front left tire. My tire wears like that one shopping cart that has a stupid wheel on it, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you make good bank from these races. Like 2k each, considering they're not hard. It doesn't really cost anything to enter. What do I even get for my trouble here? Probably just some cuts on car that I can't use anyways. Actually, no, Ginetta G2. What the fuck? Minion car. Dude, this is actually a minion car. Oh my god, you're right. <laughs> the color and the front. That is actually a minion car. Speeder. It doesn't even weigh 500 kilos. That thing weighs nothing. The thing is, um, we have to do the front wheel drive cup anyways. So I'm gonna go back to the 106, upgrade it, and do the, do the front wheel drive cup. I think we can now also sell this one. We don't need the Auto Bianchi anymore. We get 8k, that's actually really good. So what are we gonna do with this one? I think it will need at least a stage one turbo. It does quite a bit actually. 151? Ah, oh, feels good to drive a car that doesn't complete <laughs> complete shit anymore. Ah, oh, look at all these fools, man. Actually, I think they're also all using European cars. I think I saw like one Mitsubishi in there, maybe. Oh my god. Yo, guys! Look at who's in first, man! Holy shit! It's Nick Cooper! <laughs> what? It's actually White Golf Mark IV. Can somebody say smoke it up? Nick Cooper is working hard out there! Alright guys, calm down. Nick Cooper's in the race. Holy shit. That's a two-door though. It's a two-door. It's definitely a different one. Close enough though. My family man, Nick Cooper, out here with the four-door! The Pegamot sequel right there. Alright, there we go. That's it for the front wheel drive cup. Let's go. Ah, Master 6 concept. Useless. I think I'll do another license for now. In the meantime, we can we can kind of strategize what to do next. I am a Gran Turismo god. <laughs> oh, it took me three attempts. Oh, fuck me, it's this again. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's, that, that's awakening bad, bad memories. Yeah, I, heard, I saw some comments in regards to this test in particular. And I remember it being tricky. Yes! Let's fucking go! Woo! Thankfully, I don't have to get gold this time. So, I think the game plan was trying to see what I can do with the Ginetta, right? Maybe the uh, Historical Cup, maybe the uh, British Lightweight Cup. And we also have this one. The thing is, this one's concept. Which means that this one is probably not usable. I'll try to put it in some random championship to see if I can. But concept usually means... Um, can't really do anything with it, but let's 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 just try anyways. Let's look at American events. Seems to work. I can use this one. Three races, fairly mild price money, which tells me that the points here are probably not that hard. Oh, Viper. Cool. I'm out. <laughs> I don't think I can do much with the with the Pontic. I think we're gonna try to make the Ginetta work for something. Might need some upgrades. There's this uh, British lightweight series. And the card does pass. I mean. There isn't another Ginetta in here. The the Lotus cars, they scare me a little bit, but it's just a 100 point race. Oh man, this thing does not have any brakes. How? <laughs> this car doesn't weigh anything. Why are the brakes so bad? Temo would fuck pretty hard. More weight reduction, I think, is a bit silly. Race chip? I don't think it's gonna be enough. Upgrade the brakes. I could. I could also just brake earlier. Okay, this is now just a nine point race. 
Okay. So I think as long as I can maintain control over the car, we'll be fine. I can't believe the brakes are this bad. Dude! Dude! He's doing the he's doing the fossil strat, man! What? That's my job! <laughs> brakes are for pussies. Oh, I'm gonna need sports brakes though. Or racing brakes, I think. Who could have seen this coming? Whoa! Dude, they cost more than the turbo, man. By suspension instead, that's a very good point. It's also expensive though. Uh, I'm gonna operate on a loss. So I'm not gonna get my money back from the races, I think. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna have to uh, hope for better, uh, for a good price car. All right, minion car, come on. Look at that, we're definitely faster. That first stage to one turbo is, is already good. I think the suspension definitely helped with cornering. This seems doable. Yeah, that guy's going off. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. But I think it was also because there was no Elise here this time. I think the Lotus Elise is definitely by far the fastest car in this entire event. Yeah, I can add a wing, but uh... At that point, we spend more money than necessary. Like I said, with this challenge, you have to be really um, mindful of what you spend money on because European cars, you don't get too often from events. I mean, so far we've mainly only gotten non-Japanese cars. But if you need to buy something, it's usually expensive. Now, you can always find something in the used car. The used car dealer! Oh my god! I, why have I not checked the used car dealer, man? I should have checked it way more often. Yes, of course. Maybe we could find something useful here. Might be a little bit copium. This is still like 99% Japanese cars here. But maybe occasionally you'll find something good. M Coupe is really fast, but no money. Same with the S4. Dude, this one's 100k. Dude, there's a Jag in here. But no way I can afford it. Dude, look at the price of that Mustang. That is actually affordable. And look at the horsepower, it's rear wheel drive. That's fucking pog. I need to get that money somehow. We have to be careful. I, I still want to do that one race in the historic car dealer. But what are the chances that that progresses the calendar and we can't get it anymore? We are on day almost 69. We're one race away from day 69. Car dealer updates on day 70. Two days left for the Mustang. Okay, then, then, then we can do it. So we will buy the Mustang on day 69. Nice. That means I have to win this now. Let's try to win this and then pray that the car is still available. Because that is easily the best fucking deal we will get at this point. More than 300 horses at an extremely affordable price. Of course we have this fucking Elise in the race again, man. That's extremely overpowered. This car sucks so bad on this track. If I wanna actually get even remotely close to that Elise, I'm gonna have to haul ass, man. Game thinks this is a nine points race. Sure, my guy. Okay, it's at least looking a little bit better than before. I mean, we got us. Oh! He went off. There is a chance. Yes! Yes! The thing is, I got second here before, and the only thing that changed between the last attempt and this one is that I now have a, <laughs> a suspension upgrade. All right, sweet, sweet, sweet. All right, nice. I'm not sure what we get as a price cut. I think, if memory serves me right, it's a Lotus as pre, an old one. But that would be a good one, because that's actually, that would be an MR car. Oh yeah, that, that, that's the one I was thinking about, yeah, not, not the Esprit, but the Lotus of Europa. Okay, nice color, it's purple. But forget about that for now. Please tell me the fucking Mustang is still available. Okay, the car dealer didn't update. 28k, so we need around 6,000 more. What cars do we get rid of now? We're keeping this one around for sure. How much do we get for the Ginetta? 10k, I think we're selling the Ginetta. I kinda wanna use this for the historic car championship. Wait, hold on. Can, can we just use the Europa? What was the what was the limit again? Fuck. Okay, now we're, now we have a bit of a dilemma. Either we give up the Ginetta, which locks us out of the historic car championship at least for now, or we get rid of the Lotus, which locks us out of the MR Cup for now. The thing is, the Ginetta is just shit. I think even if I keep the Ginetta around, it would be really hard to beat the historic championship with this one. I'm sure we can find another historical car somewhere that's gonna be much better than the Ginetta. The Ginetta would would struggle anyways. Selling a car also skips a day. Are you sure? I mean, in that case, I'm fucked either way. But I don't think so. Why would why would selling a car skip a day? Selling and buying dust. You just checked on the wiki. Oh, brother, no. <sighs> why though? Why is it day 70? When I entered the championship, it was day 68. How did we just skip over day 69? How did we skip over day 69? We would have been fine. 
Because I want a car? Winning a car is a day? Why? What am I doing, man? Why does winning a car take a day? That is... That is... Horse radish, man. That is complete baloney, man. In that case, I'm just fucked. Can't get the Mustang anymore. Mustang comes back day 141. Great! Just have to wait two more months. That, that's the biggest offense here, by the way. We skipped over the funny number. The game did not give us day number funny. Okay, in that case, I'm, a, I'm gonna scrap all of the, all the plants. And I'm just gonna take this Lotus now and attempt the MR Cup. Whatever. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. <laughs> There's an NSX in here, man. Type R. I mean, we, we are skipping a lot of corners, but honestly, the Lotus is pretty well here. I think the other races are definitely not gonna be as easy, but uh, yeah. I'm gonna I'm keep my hopium up and I'm gonna I'm gonna now make an effort to check the used car dealer once a week to see if there's anything of use there. I'm not trying to turn this into a, like a used car only challenge, but uh, if we can get a good deal, we should take it. So new week should have started, which means new cars. Yes. Okay. Maybe we could find something else that's kind of pog. Pog. I mean, it's not as pog, but it's still pretty pog. That's probably the next best thing we could have gotten. What the fuck? That was actually just 20k. I don't even need to sell anything for this. TVR is such a broken brand, man. It doesn't matter what fucking game it is. Their cars are always so damn cheap. And has pretty much just as much horsepower as the fucking Mustang from earlier. Now I'm glad we didn't buy the Mustang. God damn. Okay, we saved a lot of money there. What the fuck? What the, where did these TVRs come from, man? I don't think that deal is as good. Fuck the Mustang. I, I don't even care about it anymore. Get in, get in. Seven point race. Sweet, 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 good deal. Yeah, there's also an NA cup, so we may not necessarily want to put a turbo in, although that would be kind of nice and would make the car extremely fast. But considering how fast it already is, it might be able to just do the NA cup as is. It actually handles pretty okay, to my surprise. For now, we're definitely in the game. Man, it's quite relaxing now. <laughs> I feel like the last last handful of championships were pretty uh, pretty tricky. Especially the one with the median car. Alright, sick. What do we even get as a, as a price car here? I mean, you, you think I, I should know by now, considering how often I have completed these challenges. But no. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> Skyline. Dude, this car is... This car could work in the um, Historica car championship. It is from 67, but I don't think it's going to be fast enough. What's the horsepower on that thing? Oh, it's a Nissan, you're right, it's a, it's a Nissan, right, 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 dude, I, I, just, I literally just forgot the main challenge for a moment, it's a Nissan. Uh, alright, so let's go then. Ah, cheeky 5k, I'll take it. You think this counts as a spider and roadster? It is technically... It is permitted, okay, wow. <laughs> alright, that's gonna be an easy one. Yeah, there was also the TVR Cup, but apparently that one's gonna be difficult. And truth be told, I don't know if we necessarily need to speed 12 right this moment. Uh, our focus shouldn't be on getting a fast car right now. It should be on getting like different cars with different specs so we can actually enter all these different events. I think that's important right now. And what do we get from this one again? It was just three races, so I don't expect to get anything of value here. Maybe just a Miata or whatever. Let's see. Chrysler Prowler. Okay. That one is not Japanese, but I doubt we can use that one. I mean, we can we can try we can try it out, I guess. It's actually kind of fast. I just don't think there's anything we can do with this thing, you know? Selling it would give us 10k, which is actually not bad. I just don't think it's really worth anything. I'm gonna keep it around. You cannot use the Prowler for American events. Ah, uh, Gran Turismo 4. Get him out of here! Get out! We could participate in Lotus Classics. We could get another car from here. I was still lacking power, man. Like, I thought I, I, I was... Dude, what the... Can that NSX chill? Yo! Oh, wow, unreal. The dirty driving, man. I think that actually uh, knocked me out of the competition for first now. <laughs> Absolutely disgusting. Fuck this, man. Ah, I'm out. That race was just cursed. I'm going to Fuji. The thing is, um, the car handling, like, like the car is handling is still so bad. You can tell it's just massively lacking traction because the tires are so old and probably very thin. And then you have the massive body roll. It's just not good. Uh, like, honestly, in reality, this car needs both suspension and better tires. But that would definitely put us in the minus. So I just kind of have to try and cope with it. The thing is, at least on uh, this track, I can cut that final chicane there. Yeah, we're gonna cut the chicken. There we go. <laughs> Deja vu? Okay, nice. <laughs> I think it wasn't good, but that speed. 
Questions, what do I want to throw in? The suspension or tires? It needs both, to be honest. But I think suspension is a bit more cheap. So I'll go with the sport suspension. Man, I don't think I can beat this dude. It's so bad, this car. Unless I can somehow make a miracle happen. I mean, that's a... I think that's a Clio up in front. Yeah, dude, that Clio just has much better traction. Okay, there's no way I can bonk him. <laughs> oh, wow, how did that happen? We just went back in time. Damn, bro, that's crazy, man. Man, this game is bugging out. Okay, I'm gonna go for bonk. Uh, holy shit, you... Try again. Oh, wow, how did that happen? I just wanna put this race behind me. I don't wanna use this car anymore. Yes, let's go, okay. There's a chance, there's a chance now. Break early. Ah, oh, that was what I needed. Never, ever again. I'm retiring this car. So I think I'm gonna go back to the TBR and take a look at the professional events. Oh man, how nice it feels to drive a car. Not a boat. I think it was the last race in the Clubman Cup. So since this is professional league, I think we could potentially... Uh, okay, we're not getting better price cars, okay. I'm gonna get rid of it right now. Can't even sell this one for money either, yeah. This also counts as a concept. Okay, next I wanna actually tackle the... NA Cup. I don't think that's gonna be too hard because you can enter this with a B license. You actually get a lot of money from this. Holy shit. If we can actually beat these events, we're getting paid. The thing is, I wanna do these before we add a turbo to the car. 45 points race? I think it's doable. Oh, there's another TBR in here. The orange one up front. Cool Britannia, Britannia rule the fuck! Hey, nice Honda that I can't use. But that's one more, one more event done. Now is where things get a little bit tricky, I think. We do have some money, so we can buy cars if necessary. For example, we definitely need to buy a sports truck. There's no way around that, so we may as well just do it now. I think, especially now, because I have the money, we should just do it. The question is, which one should we buy? There's a Dodge Ram we could use. It's actually not that expensive. 37k. Used car dealer. Sports trucks don't spawn in the used car dealer. But I mean, I guess I can check it for other cars. It's all Japanese, man. Is that Vitz Golden? That's a golden Vitz. Holy shit. <laughs> That's like... It's like a shiny Pokemon, man. Oh, true. We wanted to get that tuned VW. We're gonna get that one. This is by far one of the fastest cars we can buy. And it's it costs basically nothing. Like, the price of admission is is whatever. Okay, now here's what we'll do. We're gonna buy the sports truck first. That way I can get it out of the way. And then I'm gonna try to put that sports truck into the four-wheel drive championship. If it is fast enough, Pog, then I don't need to buy the VW yet. But uh, we're probably gonna have to buy both. What other trucks can I buy? That one's rear-wheel drive. But it's probably faster, right? So with this one, we wouldn't have a uh, four-wheel drive car. But that might be irrelevant because we're gonna buy the Golf anyways. Has more horsepower, weighs a little bit less. Price-wise, they're about the same. So I think that's gonna be the one. Something's telling me we need to add a little bit of upgrades, though. First way direction. Yeah, dude, we're getting that. Big chunk is, man. I mean, look at this, dude. Uh, that is literally just one weight reduction. <laughs> Holy moly, man. I mean, how much did we cut off? Like 300 kilos? That was totally worth the money. I didn't buy anything else. Dude, my fuel is already running out. This thing is such a gas guzzler that I actually lost a fuel point on a two-lap race. <laughs> what the... Good thing we're not doing endurance with these things. Now we're in Seattle, man. It really does not get more American than this, dude. What's like a really American song that I can play right now? Home Depot theme song? I don't even know what that is. Shoot, let me learn you something right here, boss man. This here has 300 horsepower. <laughs> dude, you're cheating, man. Get out of here. So we can obviously get rid of the Chevy. How much should I get for, for selling this one? Yeah, I'll take the 7K. Now it's time to get the uh, Golf, because that thing is just so fast, it costs like 30k, which is basically nothing at this point. Remember guys, the Golf is better. Uh, it's a two points race, I didn't even check the opponents. From my experience, the opponents in this championship are already pretty good. So I don't think the Dodge would have done it here, but this Golf, holy crap. Traction is definitely missing, especially like considering we have all assists on, uh, the assist warning light or whatever is constantly blinking. But this is honestly probably one of the best deals you can make in the game. That's a 500 horsepower machine for 30k. And surely this car can already uh, return on its investment fairly, fairly easily. Dude, there's a truck in here actually. <laughs> that, that almost would have been me, that idiot. That would have almost been me. I want my Chevy back. Oh my god! We can just do that? 
Uh, yeah, we can't use it for anything either. That is not a car we can use. Get out of my face. Also, that's it. We completed all the beginner events. Very nice. The rest is gonna be tricky. And uh, we're definitely gonna have to be looking for other events because currently I am not ready for stuff like the Super Cup Festival or the GT World Championship. I wanted to check the used cars. I haven't done that in a while. Ooh, there's a Corvette here. Can we maybe use that one for some American events? It's just 22k. It's actually not a bad deal. I think that might be a Corvette only cup where we could get our money back. 10k from each of these events and it's five of them. We might turn that into a profit. So I'd say let's, let's grab that one. I think that was a good find. Also, kind of a nice car. It actually might be one of my favorite covets, if I'm being honest. There's also the TVR race left. The thing is, for this car to be actually be able to beat the TVR one make race, um, it probably needs to be pretty good. I'm also gonna change the oil because we've used this one quite a bit. Actually, look at that. We are somewhat able to keep up. They are definitely holding back. I've never done this event before. But considering there's a speed 6 in here, <laughs> we're kinda... kinda smoking the opponents right now. This thing is a rocket, considering this was just 20k. And this one barely has any upgrades. Like, I think once you start slapping turbos in this thing, it becomes a machine. I mean, it's kind of funny how low the payouts for these races are, considering the opponents, <laughs> which for so whatever reason aren't even that fast, and then getting, like, an absolutely absurd prize go. It is obviously... What is that color? Who, who dipped this thing into a nuclear power plant, man? <laughs> it looked like someone dipped the car into atomic waste. Special color. Chameleon is what it's called. Okay. So the thing is, this car is obviously really fast, but handles like shit. What can I actually use this one for? It doesn't have a boxer engine. It's not classic. It's sh it sure as shit is not compact. Super car festival though. Like initially I thought about buying a 4 GT for this, but maybe we don't even need to. You know what? I'm gonna enter this with the car full on stock just to see how it does. And based on what's happening, I'll, I'll decide what upgrades to get. All right, I need licenses. God damn it. Right. Back to school, motherfucker. Back to school, bitch. Let's get some pussy tonight. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Game, you're one year too late. Actually, is this even... What, what what car is this even, like, nationality-wise? Is this, is this a Japanese car or not? We can't use it anyways. American? I mean, it's not like we can use it anyways, but I'm, I'm gonna keep it around for the for the memes. The thing is that when it comes to this, this Boxer Spirit Cup, I don't think we're gonna get around buying a roof. And I don't think we can win one either, can we? The Karman Gear. What is the, what is the Karman Gear? That! I, I, first of all, I can't even buy it, but even if I could, holy fuck. <laughs> it's definitely not gonna be fast enough. Yeah, we have to buy a roof. We have to do it eventually. Now I got the money, so I guess I should just go for it. I'm kind of leaning towards buying this one and just upgrading it. Ouch. Probably the, the most expensive purchase I've made so far. 148 points raised, though. Yeah, let's just see what happens. I definitely do think this thing needs some upgrades. But, uh, yeah. Obviously, don't want to overspend. This thing has grip for days. What the hell? <laughs> hold up. Hold, hold up. Hold up. This car is actually good. I didn't expect this car to be good. I actually thought it would have kind of bad downforce and everything. But nah. Good brakes too. Maybe maybe it comes with like soft tires on stock. Look at this, dude. All right. Happy about this one. Dude, what's with all the cones here? I, that, was, that was not me. That was not me for a change. Fuck. Damn. Shit. Poop. And I'm so happy we didn't need to upgrade this car. That was the least amount we... Could have possibly spent to beat this tournament, and it actually was the... It was enough. And right, this one should give us the yellow bird now, which I, I don't think we can use. I don't think it's good enough for the, um... Super Car Championship. I remember trying to use it there. It's not good enough. What are we doing in terms of World Classics? I still have my Ginetta from earlier. Fiat 500. That's my solution. <laughs> it's from 72, it doesn't even qualify. The only car that qualifies for the historical championship that we have is this one. And this one was not good. What? The little minion car, definitely not good enough. Corvette ra Chevrolet race car, yeah, but the Chevy race car is it's not old enough, right? It's probably just a C6. It's a C2 from 63. Okay. I am so glad I bought this Corvette in the used car dealer when I saw it, man. In that case. <laughs> Now that's that's sounding fantastic. Using a race car for that championship? Alright. I would say what I what I liked about this challenge is that it really encourages diversity. Like it's really easy to just get stuck on the same old Hondas and Nissans and whatnot. 
and we just play the game casually. But if you say, okay, well, I'm not gonna pick any of the, like, hundreds of Japanese cars in this game, then you tend to drive, like, a whole variety of cars. I don't think I've ever used such a wide variety of, of, of cars in this game. I usually just default to the same stuff, which is really nice. Ooh, deja vu, let's go! All right, so this is the car we went through this effort for. This one should absolutely clap the historic car championship. I mean, the, the normal car. Like, we could have also just bought a regular C2, I'm pretty sure. But uh, this one was free. We made a little bit of bank, and it's probably even better, man. This, this one should be clapping cheeks, man. 608 horsepower, excuse me? What the? F yeah, I don't think that's gonna be a challenge. <laughs> it's a one point race. Yeah, that Cobra up there. That one usually ruins the fun in this event. But honestly, with this car, it's a joke, man. <laughs> it's just such a joke. <laughs> it's such a joke. I will remove the ASM. I want to actually see the performance of the car. So now we don't even have the Cobra in here. Okay. This race could not go any... Could not be any easier right now. And this is... Once again, this car was free. All I had to pay for was the Corvette. Which we used to get this one. But even that one was somewhat cheap. Like 20 or 30k. And the used car dealer. Yeah, that kind of can 100% do 300. What the... Yeah, there we go, 300. What? <laughs> Does he have any upgrades? Actually, nothing. Dude, what if we use this for the... For the GT World Cup? Add a turbo. Smack those racing tires back on. Maybe spoiler if the game allows it. Voila! Introducing Hopium. Alright. Bam, there we go. Historic Cup done. That was so easy, man. That one can be such a headache if you get the Cobra, and we didn't even get the Cobra this time, so... Honestly, could not have been any easier, I think. Oh, dude, 50k for the entire championship. And we might get a Japanese car from this as well, which we can then also sell, which might put us to 300k already. <laughs> I forget about everything I just said. <laughs> uh, mm -mm. Yeah, we still have the World Compact, for which I, I genuinely think we could probably just buy something really good. I mean, maybe we have something in the garage that we can use. How long is this one even? Dead. It doesn't even have dimensions. All right. Sure. It's not a big requirement to it. This one, this one works already. The Griffith works. Flores, uh, thanks for the Prime, man. We can use the Griffith, which is pretty good. Did I just sell the car? I meant to get in. Why did I sell the car? Holy shit. The human error, the human error! Oh, we're off, on, we're off to a good start here. Yeah, I wanted to check the fucking stats, which you, in order to check the stats of the car, you have to press the sell button. What is this UI, man? Who does that, man? Get him out of here! If you sell a car, and then you load a save state from before selling the car, it usually kills the save file. So we're just gonna have to deal with it now. Fucking hell, man. Okay. How much is the new Griffith? It's not even here! It's not even here, man. Oh my god, okay. There's one championship for which we need, like, um... Some kind of hatchback, right? Yeah, the Euro Hot Hatch Challenge. The thing is, for this one, we can't use our existing HPA Golf, because it's not European. And it's also not a production car. Clear is probably the fastest hatchback you can use. That way we can both do the compact challenge and this event here, which should bring us back into the plus. This Clio. Yeah, this one qualifies, right? It's pretty pricey, though. 50k? I mean, we get it back. Okay, let's buy the Clio. That seems like a good buy. And we can use it for the um, compact thing as well, because surely that one's really good. Uh, dude, what are these opponents, man? <laughs> a cube. This is a professional league event. I just want to point it out. A professional event. This could be the Sunday Cup, and I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Like, the most I have to worry about is a fucking Nissan Micra here. <laughs> okay. God, and you know, I just picked up a dark green Griffith for this occasion, too. It's in the shop right now for reasons. I thought we'd drive against, like, other Cleos like this one. And maybe some tuned Golves or whatever. And maybe some, some Civics that are tuned up as well. This is, this is kind of ridiculous. Well, I mean, I guess I shouldn't be complaining. Better this than paint champing. Alright, let's see what we get from the Compact Cup. This was such a piece of cake, honestly. S800 race car. Honestly, I think this one would have also been pretty good for the um, Classic Cup, but uh, not needed anymore. Uh, wait, <laughs> it's a Honda. Eh? <laughs> Ooh, glad I caught myself there. How much do you think this sells for? 
50k, let's go, man. That only leaves us with two events. The Super Cup Festival and the World Championship. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to throw the um, Speed 12 we won earlier into the Super Car Cup and just see what happens. Oh, I don't have the IA license here, yeah, you're right. It's the last one we need. Derek, I, I don't know where you sent me, man, but I am nowhere near the Norwich Life. I don't even think I'm in Germany. How do I know? I'm looking at palm trees, Derek! There's no palm trees in Germany, Derek! God, you're fucking stupid. Put Stacy on, she'll know where to send me. Oh, fuck. Okay. It's time, boys. I A 15. Let's go. Of course, we don't even have insists on this fucking thing. And main Kai is a Rocky. Now, we all know I'm not gonna go for a gold here. Not even a silver, so just take this super easy. And I'm. What? <laughs> okay, wow. How did that not fail me? That was so damn close. <laughs> Jesus. I'll allow it. The thing is, this piece of junk's got no climate control in it, so I'd like to wrap this up as quickly as possible. It's hotter than Kazanori's taint in here. But don't push your luck. From here on out, I'm fucking you over every chance I get. <laughs> That's a fail! Nah, if you overtake the pace car, you have to restart. Only in Gran Turismo Concept, you're actually allowed to pass and completely ignore the pace car. Which I find kinda humorous. But nah, if, if you pass him here or hit him too hard, you fail. You go off the track, you fail. You hit a wall too hard, you fail. You hit the pace car too hard, you fail. You pass the pace car, you fail. So many fail states here, man. To breathe wrong, you fail. Use your horn, you fail. She succeed, you fail. <laughs> what? What? What the fuck? I wasn't even trying. What the fuck? What the shit? How? I wasn't paying attention half the fucking time, man. And over a full second faster, by the way. I've never done this before. Apparently, this is super hard. Yeah, and I also never, never go did any of these, like, full lap license tests. Never. Doesn't matter which one it is. I've never done it before. And I, <laughs> I just did it, though. <laughs> but first time on this one. Without even paying attention, dude. Okay. I'll take it. Holy fuck. This run is officially blessed. Ooh, nice calm. Can you use it, though? We only came here for the license, and we got it. It's a, it's a one-point race. It's a one-point race. How hard can this be, man? <laughs> this car's, uh... Interesting. Dude, this car, this car claps. It's kind of absurd. But that cornering ability is so bad. Actually, so bad. Oh yeah, downforce is definitely better. Holy crap. Oh, yeah, okay. We got, a, we got an event winning car here. I'm so glad I got this. Like, this was only because I spotted a TVR. Which I almost didn't spot. If I didn't fuck up buying the Mustang, if you remember from approximately 24 minutes ago, this, this is all, everything here just happened purely by chance, and holy crap, it could not have worked out any better, I think. This championship in particular, I have in memory, is really, really difficult. The Super Color Cup, but honestly, this this car makes it a cakewalk, man. That is ridiculous. See, can I can I help this guy? Oh, probably not. Ah, I'm close though. It was close. Yeah, this car, this car's good. I'm glad I got this. Once again, didn't cost us a cent. This was this was literally a free gift. All right, there we go. Dude, this was so easy, man. I remember like when when I said that I wanted to use this car in the supercar championship, people were like, "Ah, dude, you can't do it. The car is uncontrollable." And it's like, bro, this was probably the easiest time I've ever had with this event, ever. Such a piece of cake. What a goated car, man. TVR is such a such an unbalanced. Brand, it's crazy. All right, well, there you go. Would you look at that? Everything completed. So now the only thing that is still left is this, the final event. But for this, we need a competitive car. So, how do we get to the Mercedes? <laughs> so we're looking for the CLK GTR. Oh, this is where you get it from. Yeah, we need a touring car for this, though. I think there's several ways to get a touring car. We can try the we can try the Festa Italiano with the CZ that we just won. We're gonna, dude. Hello? AI driver? Okay. <laughs> Great, thank you, Autopilot. Already starting with a <laughs> bit of a handicap here. So this event gives us a touring car, which we'll need to get the CLK GTR. 
And uh, yeah, we just got this from the Supercar Festival, which is pretty perfect. This car handles like ass. I don't think I've done this event before. Neither have I driven this car before. It's so once again all new to me. It looks a bit like a GTA car, doesn't it? Like a look-alike. Something you'd see in GTA 3, probably. Or Vice City. <laughs> Yeah, like a fake Lambo. I mean, I think this was actually uh, designed by the Lambo designer. I think someone explained that to me before. All right, this is easy. This is easy, man. I mean, that seems like a really quick and easy way to get to a, a race car, honestly. You don't need to bring something fast to this. You have to bring something Italian, but it doesn't need to be anything fast. So you can probably get a race car from this extremely early in the game. What, what do we even get from that? I was told you get a DTM car. Probably some kind of Alfa Romeo. Oh yeah, yeah, nice. Okay, maybe that one's good enough. Let's see. We have to put it into this one here. Wait, isn't this the Deutsche? Looks like only German cars can compete. Hold on. Okay, we can participate. Oh. <laughs> yeah, because it's a German touring car championship. And I only see like German cars in the, in the permitted list. So I was a bit concerned for a moment. To be honest, I don't think the Alpha is gonna be that fast. I think we will have to add some, some spice to it. That should do it. Mamma mia! Oh, it's an eight point race, okay. Good. Um, looks like today is more of a chill stream then. <laughs> Wait, this might be the first time we're actually using a proper racing car, isn't it? Dude, what's with the exhausts? Are they actually this massive or does it just look like that? Anyways. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There's the nitrous. Hello. Boosting. Shit. It's a really, really bad race to start with, man. I can't really properly test this car and get a good feeling for it on this track because it's so weird. Like the layout here is just strange. It makes it hard to just kind of like get accustomed to it. Yeah, this, this track completely murders the tires, man. We weren't even racing for that long. I'm on regular normal tires. Or like racing normal rather. And the tires are done. <laughs> or at least close to being done. This is not a track for race cars. Yeah, look at that. When we have a track that isn't garbage, we're actually doing pretty okay. I mean, look at that. Acceleration with no nitrous. Acceleration with nitrous. What the f... It's so busted, man. Aye, right, there you go. Beautiful. It's cut it really well. Really well. And now... Uh, there's absolutely nothing in the way anymore. Between us and the uh, GT World Series. So we got another 75k on top. Very nice. AMG Mercedes CLK GTR race car. That's gonna be uh, our weapon. We used this car initially in the Beast Bag Challenge uh, in hopes of beating the GT World Series. It was not good enough. But now that it is in my hands and not Mr. Walter Copeland's, uh, I can actually use this car properly. So let's go, we've beat everything. Grand Tourism World Championship. It is time. time, time. Ah, fucking piece of German engineering. You've got some nerve showing up here. You know that, right? Uh, hang on, hang on. Before you rip my head off, I know what you're thinking. I'm not him. You and I are gonna win a lot of races. A lot of money. That jack off you've been dealing with. He's not me. You and I? We got history. Straight out the car, what are you doing? Keep it fucking steady. Oh my god. What are you doing? Drive! Don't look at me like that, man. Just fucking go. <laughs> yep, that's my boy. Just drive it home. It's all you gotta do, man. Let's get it! Yeah. At any rate, my Minolta's been missing for weeks. Turns out that clown's been running amok with it. Really? And I mean, it wasn't easy to track him down. For Christ's sake, we all look the same. So, uh, you want to get your car back? Oh my god. Oh my god. Fuck. No. But I'll tell you one thing. He's been going easy on you. I mean, you wouldn't believe what he's been up to since he got into that thing. Like cutting brake lines, filling gas cans with sugar. He even put down oil slicks at some point. <laughs> what kind of cartoon villain bullshit is that? He's taken out whole racing teams. He's just cheating his way from cup to cup and dragging my good name through the mud. You should know all about dragging things through mud. Hardy, har, har, hi, fucking hilarious, my guy. You cut more than your editor. <laughs> now I may drive dirty, but when it comes to losing the integrity of this sport, listen to me. We gotta stop him. You, you, you gotta win this final series. I mean, there's no telling what he could do with all that cash. Well, look, I already have my hands full, man. 
This rate is maxed out and he is tough as hell. That's where I think I can help. See, I got three of my best guys. Actually, they're my worst guys, but we all got as much power as we could ever hope to control. Maybe even a little more than that. That's just gonna be you, him, me, and them in these races. And we're gonna do what we do best. Between the four of us, you won't have a thing to worry about. You just keep doing what you're doing, that podium's as good as yours. Hey, sure this is gonna work? Hey, I'm a guy in my word. What in the hell are you doing to that car? A little privacy, please! Well, how'd you like that, bitch? Sneaky motherfucker was a catfish. And now the plan we hatched is to see more of all these trick ass bastards. Like a 50 acre field full of recalled cabbage. Cause that's a bustin'. Couple into dusting. Shaking up the rust and delivering motherfuckers to the dustbin. You better be trusted. Once the murder gets to thrusting, this just in. All skills are about to be disgusting. Hey, yo, you got a tissue box in that Minolta? Better get used to that Mustang they sold you. It's like I told you. Don't fuck with the coat, but get your shit turned over. Two pack of crutches won't be enough to hold you when the shots let out. Keep your eyes open for the smoke, and I'm yelling, bitch, get out. Identity theft, it ain't a motherfucking joke. You wish you could be GT, but you ain't that MC. It's easy to talk a big game, but you and I are not the same, and you know it. Be Stow it, respect, show it, your ass, grass, and we're about to mow it, so it would be advisable to get your shit. Laps on Tokyo is where we start off with. Let's see our opponents. We got the BMW V12 LMR race cup. You got this, Chief. We got the Bentley Speed 8. Lord save the king. It's not the same, Elizabeth. I miss you so much. He was so young. The Nissan. <laughs> Wow, Sony headquarters. Now that's something you don't see every day. Minolta is here. The Minolta is what we used in the Beastback Challenge to uh, to beat the event. No Zalba this time, or, or Arch Nemesis isn't here. Wait! I'm here too! Freddy Farmland, at your service. <laughs> that's, uh, that's my project car from home. <laughs> Quite proud of it. Alright, that should make this exciting. It's a, it's a seven point race. Brother, uh, wait, this is the same exact car we gave to the GT guy. How did the GT guy manage to fail a seven point race? How is that even possible? There he is. Re <laughs> wheel to wheel. Oh, this car, this car is interesting. I think in terms of just raw speed, we're definitely up there. It's just a matter of controlling the car at this point. Fuck. <laughs> As I was saying. Oh my god, dude. Did I just get hit by the GT guy? Okay, now I did. As I was saying, this car is actually not easy to control. I have, I have it on traction control 5. I kind of feel like I need to crank it up. Grip-wise, this feels pretty good. And if I look at the tire wear, like, it seems pretty even too. Yeah, I can't guarantee that we'll win uh, Opera Paris and Hong Kong. I'm gonna try, but can't promise. I think there's definitely potential here. I just need to, like, get good. It's, it's really a matter of just concentration, control, and a little bit of endurance. If we can bring those three together, I think we got this. I love how there's just one car that's like way slower than the others. I think that was the Camaro, right? Yes, sir. One last car to lose to. Godspeed, Godspeed, speed, demon. Okay, I will say the state of the tires is not looking great. We don't necessarily have to go for a no-stop strategy, especially considering the AI might pit as well. If the AI pits, then I think I will too, just to make sure that I don't spin the car. Oh no! Okay. <laughs> maybe I will, maybe I will. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to pit this lap. No stop is not an option. Double softs for like two laps seems very, very doable. I way even is the pit entry here. <laughs> I never pit in this game, I swear. Alright, there it is. Uh, softs and softs fuel. Now we're gonna fuel. Mmm! GT guy pitted right behind me. <laughs> nice. Hey, bud. Fancy seeing you here. By the way, Toyota's paying me Buku bucks to whoop your ass today. Yep, they said they'd like to never see you drive one of their cars ever again. Or any cars, for that matter. So I was happy to oblige them. Uh, in fact, 
I think they have Tokyo Metro PD snipers all up and down these roofs. Watch yourself. No pressure. Game mode's in front of the GT guy, which is the only important thing. Double softs, this should be uh, some lightning fast rounds now. So I'm kinda going to have to hope that the other opponents pit as well. If not, I'm gonna be a little bit upset. Because that means we have to we have to do a little bit more drastic strategies. Yeah, okay, nobody pitted, which is very interesting. Bruh. Let's see if I can catch up. If I cannot rely on the opponent's pitting, then this is going to be a bit of an issue. Man, if we had one more lap, this would be such an easy, bruh, victory. Nah. I think we got cheated out of the event, man. GT guy and I both. Well, mm, that's kind of annoying. And <laughs> I really wonder how they did that. I guess we're going for no stops then. Oh, what a shame. I'll miss our little talks. I'm not sure if war riding here is recommended. Might be faster. Hard to say. Because, uh, yeah, nah, you're doing the corners normally, we just don't have enough grip. We have to war ride to a certain degree. I mean, even the GT guy war ride it in the uh, Beast Pack Challenge. I still got it! Hell? Who is that? Wait. It's all GT guys? Always has been! Where are the drivers and first taking off to though? Like one and two are honestly just taking off right now. Okay, someone is into the pits. Oh, I think that was the GT guy. I think the GT guy just went into the pits. Okay, nice. Maybe that Nissan will follow. Oh yeah, it does, uh, it does follow. Now let's be quick. Oh, here's the keys to your stupid Griffith bag, by the way. Yeah, the rest of it's at the bottom of the Grand Canyon, so... Enjoy! Okay, I'm gonna go, uh... Steal Copeland's contact lenses. Cause I'm a dick. There we go. I'm put the first. Now we just gotta hold it. Tires are still looking super good. Not even an ounce of wear. Oh, we lose a lot of ground if we do this corner legit. Look at that. Okay, maybe we're lucky that Camaro kind of holds up the BMW. Is that him? I can't see shit. Oh, damn it, Freddy! Take space. Whose contact lenses are these, and how the hell did they get into my eyes? All right, let's go. That's giving back some morale, I will say, after that first race. Next we have Hong Kong. What's the threat for Hong Kong, man? I don't know. I don't think there's anything I can do right here. It's 18 laps of Hong Kong. I don't even want to do it. B-Spec it, B-Spec is guaranteed loss. We already know that. Like, we lost this in the B-Spec B -spec challenge with the exact car. We can, we can just try to go for a pit by the ninth lap. For which I think the regular strat we had before with hearts and mediums should be fine. Qualify? Seems like a good idea, yeah. So we could we could try to qualify. Oh, you goofy ass. There is no qualification, man. There's only practice. Wait, did this practice? Practice is qualifying. Why? I always thought the only uh, Gran Turismo you could qualify in was 3. Because that one had like an, a dedicated qualify option. Okay. You know what, I'm not gonna complain, that should increase our chances. Okay, that put me into first. <laughs> Easy! Wish me luck. 18 laps of pain, 18 laps of tire compound and downforce torture. Dude, honestly, qualifying is probably gonna be... Uh, that, that was... Okay, I do not trust that war ride. I'm not gonna do it again. I, I think I would honestly rather war ride that. Okay, you know what? We're not gonna war ride anything. We're just gonna drive the track like the GT gods intended. And that's gonna be that. GT guy on my ass. This is an endurance race, man. <laughs> this is an endurance race in disguise, man. All right. Breathing down this guy's neck, man. All right, Lucas, time to fall back. Dustin's right behind you. Go ahead and let him pass you on your... Golly gee, everybody's been so quiet throughout this whole race. Uh, yeah. Yes, I'm doing an all right job. <laughs> I think this is gonna be the one. Oh, let's go. Ah, oh, shit. It's a little bit too late. Had it there for a moment. I am I am deja vuing hard. I think if I'm a little bit more careful, ah, there's super orange now, man. If I pit now, I'm gonna have to deal with the same situation, if not worse, in the last lap. Oh boy, nah. I have to pit now. This is not good. I think another lap would have just been suicide. I did do some spins that definitely contributed to the tires being fucked substantially earlier. So I think as long as I drive a little bit better than in the first half of the race, maybe they'll last. Whole lot of hopium there, but... Ooh, I think I see the Nissan again. So I did lose some ground between the last pit stops, but that's okay. This Nissan's actually being held up by... Uh, whatever car's in front. 
Was that the Camaro? It is the Camaro! Holy crap, the Camaro, the gods! The gods! Let's go! You shall not pass! What a, what a Chad, what an MVP, man. Putting us right back into the competition, dude. Ha ha! Ha ha ha! Yeah, now I have to defend like a lion. I need to keep my tire safe and I have to defend. Yellow tires are not filling me with confidence right now. Hmm. I don't know where this is going, Chad. Honestly, as long as I get third, I think I'm gonna be happy though. And it seems like a third is at least a given here. Shit, the fucking curb got me, man. Ah! Uh, curb got me again! Holy fuck! What in the world? Okay, I'll, I'll just try to make it to the finish. I am I am not in the fight for a podium anymore. Not with these tires. I, I can't turn without drifting, man. Oh, I don't think I can keep that position. No, I have to be so slow. It's crazy. I could try blocking, but yeah, he's just pushing me. Bitch! Sorry, Dustin. Gotta keep the integrity of the sport. Can't do anything about skill issues. So scuffed this race. Whoever put Hong Kong in this event, go fuck yourself. I hope that person got fired. <laughs> Okay, yeah, you really just need super hearts in the rear here. <laughs> yeah, he took it super hard in the rear, for sure. We're moving on. So what's the strat for South Central? 19 laps this time. I kinda, I feel like it's a similar story. I'm going super hearts, rear, mediums in the front. This is a super weird combo, man. Super hard rear and medium fronts. That feels like a mismatch, honestly. Like, yeah, dude, the car is just drifting, man. Like, the grip just doesn't match up. Look at this, this is bad. Ah, uh, yeah, we could have qualified here. Hey, you're right, I have a gore. It's just not really my muscle memory, especially because it says practice. Dude, this is a bad combo. You should never, like, go st two steps apart, basically, with these tire compounds. I really is making a places for what it's worth. Pretty much at the halfway point of the race. Tire's still looking fresh, despite the awful handling. I'm not really getting any closer. So this race is a bit of a nothing burger right now. I hate this so much. It feels like the tires in the rear are worn out already. Yeah, I'm gonna pit the next lap. To be honest, we might be able to go for a no pit strategy here. As much as I hate this compound, I feel like I have to commit to it now. I mean, look at the lap count and then look at my uh, tire health. I mean, let's just write this out. Actually starting to wear out now. They maintained green for a little bit longer than would have been a safer bet. I don't know. It's still too early to tell. Honestly, I feel like I've lost so much time to the leaders at this point that I don't think a no pit strategy would save us. Wait, how, why am I in second? When did I pass someone? There's only one, one driver in the pits right now. Who did I just pass? So I uh, yanked that pesky position tracker doodad out of my car like you asked me to. Hey, that should lighten her up a little, eh? Yes, yes, it should. Good work. My goodness, that's quite the hefty handful of smackaroos right there. Yeah, yeah, and more where that came from. You just get past him, you hear me? Oh, sure, sure, no problem. Here's the deal, though. I don't have enough of a gap to this Nissan, and the Nissan is going to be much faster. It will pass me. But it looks like no pit is gonna have to be what we're, what we're set up for, when, at least for now. Can I push him into the pits? Ah, oh, fuck! Well, we, can, we can play a little bit here. But on the bright sides... Tires are looking okay, considering how much we have left to go. I'm sweating. Feels like I'm playing iRacing right now. I honestly did not think this is gonna be a win. After realizing how bad it was not to qualify, I, I really didn't think this was gonna be possible. Oh my god. Oh my god! Holy shit! Let's go! I, I really didn't expect that. Super hard's actually worked. It, it felt so bad. I just want to point that out. It felt so bad the entire race. Trying to, uh, like, keep the car under control felt so bad. Pitting is for losers, man. Come on, I tried to... <sighs> okay, El Capitan. Qualified in first. It's so important, man. It would have made the previous race so much easier. Hard, super hard. Let's go. Dude, it's not even a fucking flying start! Oh. Yeah, if it's not a flying start, it's kinda irrelevant, man. Qualifying is like, whatever. With six cars. Okay, that GT guy is kinda taken off, man. 
Dude, why is the GT guy so quick here, man? I can't even get remotely close to them in all time. Yeah, we're, we're just not in a competition. We're going to have to pray for pit stops. Why does this car suck so hard here, though? I don't get it. Like, I was rocking this tire component on other tracks and I was doing okay. I don't know why I'm so much slower. Hold on. Fuck you, emulator. Worst time for a stutter, man. It's hopeless, man. Uh, they, they, they are so far ahead that Pit Stop won't solve this. In fact, we're actually uh, about to get passed by these lovely gentlemen here. Oh, did you hear that? Walt, he called us lovely. Which is kind of crazy to believe. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? I just don't get how we managed to turn the previous race that looked so hopeless into a win. And this race, which seemed like a safe bet, is now looking completely hopeless. It just does not make sense to me. It feels like you do something wrong, you get rewarded, you do something right, you get punished. Although I am somehow getting closer to these now. Why is the Nissan so slow now? Look at this. Why is it so slow now? Did it get the wrong tires on? What is happening? I don't get it. What is happening? Oh, my tires? What the fuck? I wasn't paying attention, man. Dude, I was so focused on these cars in front of me that I was not paying attention to my tires. Unreal, man. How, how badly they wore out. No stop was not the strat here at all. I was slower the entire race, and now I have to kind of drag my ass across the last lap. I mean, I'll take third. I feel like for a moment there, this could have gone much worse. But that was not the play. Points, I'm still in first. I'm still three points ahead. So what the fuck are we going to do for New York now? I feel like for tracks like this, we can go for no stops. But tracks like El Capitan, that have a lot more curves and, you know, longer turns, eleva elevation, that sort of stuff. Even if the race is technically shorter, like if, they're le if there are less laps, we have to pit at least once. I don't know, man. How often do I want to throw that strategy against the wall until it sticks? At least we benefit from uh, the rolling start. I don't have confidence in the, in the one in the no sub strategy anymore. I think we'll go for this. Man, I think I need to take like a little break. That was so fucking exhausting. So, um, uh, Germany. Huh? Oh, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, Gran Turismo. It's not a place. Oh, well, I mean, uh, Japan then? Tennessee. Ah. Yep. Born and raised. You know, that just went right through me. I, I think I gotta make a pit stop of my own. Uh, see you on the track. I think I just had an epiphany. We don't need to go for no stop strategies because we have the faster car. The only reason why we lost the first race due to a pit stop is because for whatever reason, there were two cars that just didn't pit. And I think that's going to be really unlikely from here on out. I feel like in every race we've done since then, the cars have pitted at least once. So I think I just need to trust in the car and uh, just go for regular one-stop strategies. If I get fucked by the game and the opponents don't pit, then that's just gonna be it. There was nothing I could do anyways, right? I just need to trust in it. Because we were clearly doing great. But then the BMW and I think the Bentley or the Nissan, I don't know which, which the other one was. The two cars just didn't pit and we lost as a result. And that kind of, you know, gave me the message, okay, uh, no stop is the thing, is the is the move. But I think that was a red herring. I think that was a bunch of hoopla, a bunch of baloney. So let's just do this the proper way. Look how much further away I am now. See, that's what I mean. This is exactly what I was talking about. You just have to trust the car. That's good enough. Yeah, it should be at least 10 seconds ahead by now. Looking at the gap. Oh, fuck. Correction, I was 10 seconds ahead. Hey, Camaro. How do? Yeah, it looks like someone's got into the pits. I think both have. Yeah, okay. Look at these losers! Fuck you! <laughs> L, 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 L. You gotta trust in the Mercedes, man. Morale is slightly increasing again. Oh, okay, the beamer is pitted. Okay. That eliminates any and all danger that we have left in this race, I think. Oh, that feels good. Having just like a nice, safe race 
when we come out on top. That that I really needed that, man. Shit, dude. That reassured me. Especially this was a long race. There's no way we could have done this in with a no st no stop strategy. Oh fuck off, man. Paris, dude. Same strat though. Same same everything. Yeah, no chance for a no stop here. One percent. Oh, it's also reverse. Oh, that's gonna throw me off. I don't think I've ever like driven this track in reverse. To be honest, this is just Hong Kong too. Same kind of experience, same length, same girth. So uh, we're aiming to pit in lap nine. Honestly, I don't know if I can make it with this tire compound. And I also don't think the opponents pit more than once. So if I have to pit earlier, then we're gonna have to downgrade the tire compound. That's for sure. Downgrade, dump fuel, pog. That way we don't have to pit another time at least. Still, I don't have a good feeling about this race. This, this is just such another cur It's just another cursed track. There's only so much you can do here. Oh yeah, I'm much slower on these tires. Best time was a 116, this was a 120, yeah. Second place might actually still be in the cards. I'm not holding my breath for first. The thing is if they're all like in, in like a cluster, right? They slow each other down. That puts me in a pretty good position. Dude, I think everyone has pitted by now and I'm in fifth. These tires are too bad. With three seconds slower per lap, that shit adds up, especially when I'm already not much faster than the rest. I'm never going to use them again, no matter what. If I have to pit twice, I'll pit twice. It's it's medium hard or bust, honestly. Red tires are getting yellow again. We still have a lot to go. They didn't even they didn't even last. I can't even <laughs> I can't even properly keep up with the fucking Camaro, man. Now that was a lesson learned, man. <sighs> I am banning the super hearts. 44 seconds is so how far I am away from the Nissan. 44 seconds. The super hearts are officially banned. We are never using them again. Never. I don't care what track it is. I don't care how many laps there are. I don't care about anything. We are not using them again. And holy crap, look at this, man. An actual racetrack for these race cars. Can you fucking believe it? Seven races in. We're actually getting the first proper racetrack that isn't going to be completely AIDS to drive. Isn't that insane? We have an ace in our hand here. Okay, never mind, we don't. The, the chicane is cut off. <laughs> you fuckers. Let's do this. Yeah, Toyota is overpowered as hell. Good thing is the Toyota, aka the GT guy up there, is <laughs> not currently our main rival in the in the championship. Uh, I'm currently tied in points with the uh, Nissan, which I think is actually not even behind me. That's the one we need to look out for. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, hey. <laughs> you can cut a little bit here. And it's so much more enjoyable to drive these cars when you actually have a proper track. What am I fucking doing, man? Oh my god, I'm driving like ass right now, dude. Oh, what the skill issue was that? Oh, fuck. What the skill issue was that? Everyone's skill is here. Yeah, GT guy is just taking off in that broken ass Minolta. You know, I have the sneaking suspicion that no nobody here will pit. I'm just gonna be uh, sitting on my ass, trying to catch up with everybody. But I don't have a choice. Where are the pits here? Where are they? Oh, there they are. Yeah, nobody's pitting, of course. 20 minutes on Suzuka, why, why, why pit? This is easy, every car can do that. Well, let's see how it goes. Six out of nine laps is indeed very nice. Okay, I see a couple cars in the pits. So it's also cars that are in the competition. What's the car behind me right now? It's the Nissan, okay. I mean, I am getting closer. Like, their shitty tires definitely uh, are starting to slow them down. So one way or another, I think I should at least catch one driver. At least one driver pitted. I don't know who it was. It definitely wasn't the BMW. So the BMW is back at it again. It's just a repeat of Tokyo with that fucking BMW just straight up cheating. Hey man, I'm not above using a little game shark to get points away from Dick and Dickless back there. I'll tell you what I'll do. Wait. Is that the BMW in the pits? Whatever, doesn't matter. We finished out of the Nissan. That's all that matters right now. Grand Valley, my beloved. Hopefully this track will bring us good luck. Okay, let's actually try to pass the Minolta in turn one. Because that gives us more playing room. If we let the Minolta take off in the beginning, it's just gone. So I think that was an important move right away. Alright, looking good. Lap one, giving me confidence. 
The first place would put us in a really, really good position for the final race. That would alleviate a lot of pressure and a lot of stress. And if the Minolta can also finish in front of the Nissan, oh man. That would put such a nice little gap of points between us and the rest. The way the grid looks like right now is perfect. If it can, if it can somehow stay like this. Oh my fucking god, dude. I'm about to fuck you. GT <laughs> guy, come on. Oh, Lucas. There's an extra 2,500 smackaroos in it for you if you jump scare this motherfucker. What the fuck? Oh yeah, much better. Yeah, we're, we're gonna have to pit in lap 5. So I hope my theory is correct that uh, lower fuel means lower weight and lower ma weight means less tire wear. That's how it works in real life, but this is Grand Tourist before. This is a PlayStation 2 game. Doesn't have to work the same way. But to be fair, I had a lot of cock-ups so far that are easily rectifiable by just concentrating more. That should increase tire life at least a little bit. Okay, someone went into the pits. I'm not sure if I'm able to reach them, which makes me believe it might be the Minolta. Before it's the Camaro. That'd be sad. What do we have here? Oh! <laughs> it do be uh, the GT guy. So I think there's a chance. We're well, warm that tire so that guy can just go fuck himself. So he's got the grip now, motherfucker. Now I just need the rest to pit and then GG. This time, whoever wasn't first went into the pits. Which honestly might be the Nissan who wasn't paying attention. It wasn't the Nissan. The good thing is the Minolta and the Nissan will now be battling, which will probably uh, turn out in my favor. I don't like the look of the tire health right now. I was hoping they'd be green by the end of lap 9. Okay, two other drivers in the pits puts me back into first. Just keep it clean, man. Like, that's all I need right now. I don't need to be pushing. I don't need to be fighting. I think these tires have one more lap in them, if I'm careful. One more lap. Come on, come on, come on. Just cruise, coast. Easy on throttle, easy on steering, easy on braking. No need to push. This is really a test of your stress resistance. Like I gotta go... I gotta enter full zen mode here. Right off, motherfucker! Fuck you, dude. <laughs> oh. 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 Is it over? No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Sadly not. But this was important. I think this win, this win was more important than whatever happens in the next race because this puts us in the best possible position for the final race. <sighs> Fuck the GT guy. Did you see what he tried to pull there? He learned that from me. He learned that from me, man. That dive bomb, man. Fuck that guy. All right, let's go. It's gonna be the final race, guys. So here we are. Cirque de la Sarthe, four laps. We had 58 points. We have the Nissan behind us with 51. And then the Minolta and the BMW are already out of the competition for first. They cannot be first anymore. The only car I have to beat effectively is the Nissan. And even that one, we have enough of a gap that I can technically lose to the Nissan. I could probably fall like one or two places behind. This is absolutely doable now. I mean, this track, honestly, I'm not concerned about because of this. Ooh, it's actually kind of hard. Okay, okay, okay. There is a little bit of cutting potential on this track. We, we can definitely use to our advantage here. This track is dangerous. Like, you get even a pixel off the tarmac and break. You are gone, my friend. But okay, it's a good stress test for the tires. And yeah, we're living behind quite a gap on these straights. That is really, really reassuring. Looking at the tires, they're looking good. You could probably actually get away with a no-stop strategy on this track. I think that's exactly what we've done on the V-Spec challenge. I cannot tell if the other drivers will pit. That's up in the air. They won't. They won't pit. 
So this has to be a no pit strategy then. I don't think it's gonna happen with these tires. I cannot believe we're going back, but we're actually going back. I don't like this. I don't like this compound. I said I banned it, but I, it's, it's a necessity now. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. But we're gonna have to make a deal with the devil here, I think. I forgot how bad they were. Oh my god. I, I forgot how bad they were. I'm restarting immediately. I'm sorry. They are so bad. They are so bad. They are so bad. We're really gonna have to pull together on those straights here, man. Oh, this is looking good, man. Oh, this is looking good. <sighs> and that's where the tricky part starts. Oh my god, bro. These tires. There's just no braking. Ooh, that was ballsy. Oh, fuck the Nissan. Oh, no. Don't make this in anxiety inducing now. Genuinely hate this corner. Yeah, we're struggling hard here, man. In this section. You know what? Fuck your game. Fuck. Actually, fuck your game. Oh, my. <laughs> Not a single track in this fucking championship where you could properly cut. I'm going to take what I can get here, man. Especially when I have to deal with these garbage tires. Okay, let's try to keep this up. It's looking like a nice, nice gap already. Didn't make a mistake here this time. No. What a save. What a save. What a fucking save. Holy shit, I didn't even lose that much ground. What the fuck? Yeah, it's this part of the, of the track here where they catch up, which is really unfortunate because this is basically the part before the finish, right? Yeah, Nissan is 100% glued to the track. And that's what I mean, like, it feels like they're all using soft tires. All of these fuckers. They're all using soft tires, but they have the... You fucking dickhead! What a fucking bastard, man. All right, let's, let's get these fuckers, man. Beating the Nissan is an absolute requirement. Like, for it's just my honor, and I want to see both of them. Like, I don't, I don't think I have to win this, but winning this is super... It's gonna be super important, man. Like, just for me personally. But this was a challenge, I don't know, like 15 hours in the making, maybe? More or less? Better ups and downs, this is so scary right now! Don't put me, dickhead! Gotta work cut out my... Dude, the AI is so nasty here. Yeah, get fucked, man. Learn how to drive. Yeah, AI yeah, seems super normal, man. Nothing nothing wrong here at all. Especially look at that lonely soul. <laughs> Currently coasting through the straights. I'm the king of Lassar. I hate this corner with all my might. <clears throat> I'll allow myself one retry with that corner, each lap. If I cock it up again, then that's just on me. I can't, I can't, I, I can't be this fast here. They're cheating. They're cheating, they're cheating, they're cheating. <laughs> He never stood a chance! I bet he won't even make it to that spike strip I laid down! Oh, let's go! The Minota's bidding! What a dumbass! What a dumbass! Of course, the, the Nissan, the car that matters, is not pitting. What a dumbass! Okay, final lap. What a dumbass! Right, let's go find it up. Come on, come on, come on. I still have so much loss left. I barely used any of it. Are you fucker? Come on, come on, come on. Take him down, Lucas. Say, you remember that episode of Breaking Bad with Walter White's massive stack of cash sitting in that storage unit? I sure do. But my God, that was a lot of dough, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. You listen to me. You get this done, I'll give you 100 smackaroons and we go watch that episode together after this is all said and done. What do you say? Throw in some cheese and crackers and you've got yourself a deal, mister. <laughs> okay, you know what? Good for you. Give me a slipstream. Don't give him your slipstream! What the heck is a slipstream? No, fuck off. Tires are looking fantastic, man. I'm so happy I switched to this fucking compound that I cursed to hell. But this is the one instance where it actually makes sense to use. But man, this, this shit's for honor now, man. Oh, look at him! Did you see him sliding there, dude? He's struggling and coping hard. Come on, man, this is the toughest one, toughest section here. Like, this has to come together now. <laughs> Dude, we're actually building up such a gap they cannot fucking cope with their cars anymore. Say, uh, Mr. Guy, how many of those spike strip thingies you lay out down here, boss man? You idiot! Uh oh. Okay, I got distracted. Oh, there's tarmac here, let's go! Nice! That lessened the impact a bit. I fucked up that corner in every lap, I think. 
Come on, just drive it home, Dustin. That's all you gotta do. Come on, man. By gold, Walter, I think the old boy's about to do it. Come on, man. Come on, man. This darn thing. Come on, man. Get a grip, you shithead! I uh, even try to take these corners the correct way. No more cutting. Let's get it! Oh, uh, let's go. No! <laughs> Look at him! Dude, he spun out! Motherfucker spun out! Motherfucker spun out! Yes! No! Oh, jeez, really? Fung that one up, didn't I? <laughs> Good show, boys. I'm still here, too. Yay! <laughs> yes, let's go! Let's go, man. GG! Boom, there we go. We did it. Beat Gran Turismo 4 without Japanese cars. Clutch the shit out. This, this was such a stressful championship. I feel like I only won like four or uh, three or four f fuck it races. All right, let's pick up our well-deserved prize car and call it a day. What a beauty, man. What a beauty. I gotta admit though, although it got obviously really hard near the end and really stress inducing, it was really fun. Honestly, playing the game without Japanese cars was so fun. So many cars I've never used or even seen before. So many events I've never entered before just so that we can like progress through the game. Uh, this is actually the first challenge I think that I would genuinely recommend you guys to try out if you have the game. Like we we've done a lot of challenges here and there and honestly I feel like a lot of times it's mostly just there, like it's just pain, right? And you guys get off on my pain. That's basically what this boils down to. But no, actually, I think this charge was the first one where I'm like, yeah, this was this was really fun, and I, I can totally recommend this one to you guys. The thing is with Gran Turismo 4, like I'll be honest, like 90% of it is easy shit. Most of the time, this game is fucking easy, right? Because you always have a good car in, in most cases, and you can upgrade, etc. And having the final championship be this challenging, where I'm actually like struggling to make points and I have to be like, Ugh, you know. And, it was exciting, man. It was like a, a kind of excitement that I don't think I've got from this game in a long time. So that was actually great. Great challenge, man. Dear Edna, it would appear congratulations are in order. On behalf of the entire Toyota Motor Corporation, I'd like to offer our sincerest apologies. We clearly experienced a severe and continuous lapse in our judgment that blinded us from your abilities on the track. I am pleased to inform you that not only are you welcome to your unrestricted choice of any of our fine vehicles, but also, thanks to a severance of relations with a certain troublesome individual, we now have an opening in our sponsorship program and would like to extend to you our warmest invitation. Pending your agreement, we've left in your garage a token of our good faith. An automobile with an extensive lineage, stunning looks, and gripping performance to boot. Redesigned for the modern age. You seem to have quite the history with this model line, and we think you'll agree. It is most definitely the car of all time. No! Nice ride! Hey, you running super hard on that thing? <laughs> well, I guess I showed you who's boss. <laughs> Look, I'm not good at trash talking. What are you doing? Check your DMs. Real mature now, are we? I'm sorry, is that you talking? I can't hear you over that ASCII dick in your mouth. Look, if you want to act like a 12-year-old, you should go play some Fortnite. <laughs> Blow me. <laughs> what a sore loser. 